You're listening to Why You Suck in Bed on the Riotcast Network, riotcast.com. Guys, do you want to give your women a hard time? Erections. Really, do you people think we're so shallow that the only way to get us to listen is using a sultry voice? Let me tell you how thinking men are dealing with their erections. Enzite. It's true. Millions of men rely on Enzite brands knowing they'll be ready to stand and deliver a confident performance anytime, every time. That's huge. Just one capsule a day, sort of like a vitamin you take once a day, is all it takes for strong peak male enhancement. Hurry, if you call now, you can score a special Enzite trial pack for the sack and receive a 10-day sample of Ogaplex for the ultimate male experience free with your order. Call now for the most powerful erections imaginable with the Enzite trial pack for the sack. Call one 800 6 or go to smilingbob.com 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 These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, or cure any disease. Free trial requires via life enrollment with future auto shipments. I had sex with my cat and everyone knows. It <laughs> <laughs> was my favorite book when I was a kid. <laughs> it's a pop-up book. <laughs> You say puff? <laughs> Isn't that a magic dragon? <laughs> My cats are fighting in the studio. And what that's a, why the intro fuck? went so long. This I had pussy a, problems. This is a professional studio. <laughs> why are you bring these little flea-bitten jerk-offs here? They're like fighting. And one of them is like a kitten and is stalking the other one. We all just observed it. They're cats, so they're inherently assholes. <sighs> like women. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do cats secrete as well? Well, I won't. I'm sorry. Please don't start. <laughs> <laughs> that was a callback. So you know, that we say callback in the biz. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm so professional. So everyone here is um, I'm back again. Back again. No Henry. No word. Two weeks in a row. Mm-hmm. And we are dealing with the cats. And you, you haven't heard uh, anything from them, right? In a, in a week. Fuck, no. Fuck you, Henry. No. If you're listening. <laughs> but you're not. <laughs> but you're not. I don't know. I mean, idiot. I'm. Uh, I don't know whether to care. <laughs> Any more about him or... You shed you fucking idiot. Shed your last tear. Do I make... Let's decide right now. Should we give up? Well, that's what I'm saying. Do I continue to make an effort? No. Listen, Fuck it. He can, be, he can be freelance. He can show up if he wants right. to. He can be freelance. He can show up and... We're know. not going to devote any more time to pondering where he is. Right. Because we know it's drunk on the side of the street. Right. Unless we made like a segment where every week we just guessed where he could be. Like, oh, maybe where he's in, in India. in the world is Henry the Ninth. <laughs> Maybe he's in You're India a having sex with a elephant. All right, so what's up? As long Let's as it's secreting. Stuff. Let's talk about like sex and stuff. Do it. I'm still mad at you from last <laughs> week. Me too. I don't know. Like Molly can't look at you. What can I do? To she make can't. It, what can I do to make it up to you, ladies? Um, Would you like to take a nap? When was I'll, the last time you got laid? I want to hear about that. No finger blasting. Because you never talk about it. Last time I got laid, last night, twice. Bullshit. Are you seeing somebody? Um, yeah, like on and off, but not like consistent i guess like on and off here and there who where'd One you meet her it's it's tough there. because Fuck i got man. i got a fucking 
I got the two kids. I don't yeah, but you time. have joint custody, which means 50% of the time you don't have the kids. I'm sick of you using that excuse. Yeah, and I like my, my own time. I like time with myself, too. I'm not one of those people that have to be out doing stuff all the time. No, I like and, and just that's fucking sitting home and having some downtime. I do, too. I like that, too. But you have no urge to, like, meet a lady. I, uh, yeah, I just said that I'm, you know, dabbling in a couple. <laughs> Twice. I didn't even know you could get it up once. But you're dabbling in a couple of ladies? Yeah. I got two right now that I'm kind of... And give us a brief overview of them. You know my type, and they're exactly that type. No. Can you... Uh, boom, uh, boom. You and I are not having a private conversation, Insane. in case you didn't notice. So this is a podcast. So tell me what no, your type... No, but I've said my type on air. This is like old news. We stuff. have new fans. Insane and brunette. Big boobs. Yeah, usually... With huge knockers. Usually, not, I like curvy girls with... I like brunettes, typically uh, like Italian, Spanish kind of looking, usually, and completely batshit crazy. Okay. So, and, and so what so, condition so, does this one have? <laughs> well, I haven't figured it out yet, but more than likely, she's probably fucking like bipolar or some crazy shit, because that's what I tend to attract. Did, um, awesome. It, it sounds like a lot of your past choices have not worked, so why would you continue to choose the same person? Oh, I'm attracted to that type. Though. You know, you have out no insight. Like Reoccurring none. nightmare Yeah, syndrome. like why? You give, you, you give out this advice to people, and yet... But that's why I'm not... Uh, like locking Dan's anything average. down. I'm just kind of <laughs> dabbling. Right. I don't know that I'm even ready for a long term thing right now. So I'm just kind of dabbling and I'm not getting really too involved. I'm not doing what I normally do is like locking in and just right. fucking obsessing. You know, right. And bringing it into my life. I'm not doing that. I'm not incorporating anything into anything. Okay. It's just like free time. Kind of shit what now. kind of sex do you have with this part? These monkey pe- sex. Really? Fucking monkey. Like, is it wild or is it just kind of um, like you get off and you move on? I don't think Take it, you stupid orangutan. I yeah. don't think, uh, just in general, I don't think I'm ridiculously wild. My eyes just rolled into the back of my head. <laughs> 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 At the thought of you having monkey sex. Oh, monkey. <laughs> Fuck you. I love uh, the I, you, I love the hostility. Why don't you describe our uh, sexual wait, encounter? Wait, no. That's before she says that, I want to point out this is what happened, Molly. You have sex with him, and I then know. eventually you learn to just fucking despise his existence. <laughs> so now you're mistake, on the same page as I am. Ah, oh, now I got two of them. Uh, so you really want her to describe your sexual encounter? Yeah, because she's describing did, it like did, it was. Did your incubation period take a year as well? Um, your how long does it usually take to hate his guts? I'm trying to think. I know that I immediately hated him because I found the picture. Yeah. Yeah, and we got into that big fight. And we broke up. And then, actually, you know what? Jeff's right. We became friends again. And I thought, oh, how much I missed you in my life. But then about a year went by, and I was like, he's an ass. Right. Okay. (laughs) It's about a year. Eight months, eight to 12 months. (laughs) We didn't talk for a solid couple of years before we started like kind of talking again. right because i probably would have mock 13 you no because you weren't over me you fucking crazy <laughs> okay <laughs> let's move on okay i leave lasting impressions on women okay. that's why they go crazy did he leave a lasting impression on you that's why she's all bitter over here too. look at her look she's look still her. in she's the field all, position. she's all wound up <laughs> maybe i think she's sliding off the chair too let's talk about something why, else. she's secreting yeah okay. that means she <laughs> She wants it? Ow! Fuck! Oh, <laughs> there's no physical contact in the studio. Unless it you, had to be done on you, behalf of all of our listeners. Unless you have your hand on my shaft, then it's okay. Oh my! Actually, God. the way you're pissed off right now, I don't want your hands anywhere near my junk. Mm-hmm. Let me see it. <laughs> no. <laughs> She'd probably come on, whip it out. Fucking tear it off. Mm. So we're going to do a lot of articles today, and um, so much news. Discuss them. I'm going to. I'm wearing like orthopedic sandals today Lovely. because I'm having foot problems. So it's just a matter of time before the gray pubes well, come in. Stop wearing hooker boots. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Stop wearing those boots with the fish inside. I do wear the hooker high boots. heels. I love the- my heels. But they're, they're I have a gray me. vagina. <laughs> Look at this one. Like a heroin addict over here. Fucking vaping <laughs> me. <I'm in> Juicing <laughs> up. I miss Henry's in the ass. It's not the same when you do it. No. I'm sure, we have footage we can just insert later. Right, Magic Man, in post. I could, but that would disgrace. 
this is his memory. <laughs> yeah. I got balls the size of great. <laughs> Mamacita. Mamacita. Maron. Maron. All right. I've been at, re-watching The Sopranos from season one. I fucking cannot get enough. So basically, you just pet your cats and watch long forgotten TV shows on Netflix. Mm-hmm. No one ever said I'm exciting. Okay. I just... You need to keep up the illusion for our listeners. You can't well, tell I have them good you do sex. This, right? But, you know, like those, there recently there's been a, a flurry of articles about introverts and extroverts. I don't know why. Uh, maybe someone's promoting a book or something. I mean, I'm an introvert too. I just don't talk about it. But that's, this is the interesting part. It says, you know, introverts, when you go out and socialize, you need a period of time to re energize your battery. Yep. So you do your alone time. And I feel like. So I'm an introvert? You know, I always thought I was an in- introvert. But then, like, I went through a period of time where I thought I was an extrovert. But no, you know, I would say you're an extrovert. Right. Thank you. Everyone says that. But what people don't get is when I go out and do my thing, it takes, I need like days to recoup hmm. for rate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Socializing takes so, uh, a lot out of me. So, yeah. So you're saying that an extrovert is constantly just out and about and it doesn't Extroverts drain are, from them? I don't think no, are ext- ener- are they get their energy from others. Yeah. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. It's like it's not like the common like oh extroverts are just you know social butterflies. They kind of need to get their energy for life energy from interacting, mm. and that could just be they're the types of people that n- are never alone. Like have a right. sidekick. I see. I see. Usually, I think. But when I would say normal people are a little bit of both. Right. Like you can get energy from a crowd, but also well, you know, yeah. recharge your battery by yourself. What's normal? There is no normal. Uh, here we go. Uh, that shit. Like a, like a well balanced mm. person, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> that wasn't even an article. I just brought that up because so I was well talking about sopranos. Like I definitely need recharge time. Like I definitely <laughs> am one of those people. Right. They're like I don't like to be out every single night. Yeah, that, that you was... just fucking sit in your basement and play video games and tell your kids to make themselves rich with peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> I did my extrovert years in college. You, you know, and you can back me on that. It's a cup of noodles. <laughs> yeah, I boil pasta for Don't burn yourself. And I take one of the bags in the room and take it to Pound Town. Daddy, we were going to eat that. <laughs> no, not this one. This is the one with the cheese on it for lube. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> you can have the plain. That just about sums it up. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Yummy. Okay. So did you guys hear about the adult film industry's issues lately? Uh, a positive HIV test from one of the porn stars came back Ooh. and now there's ah! a That's bad. Now, yeah, now they're basically saying they came, you know, it was a porn moratorium because everybody's worried about well, they, getting AIDS. So they all no, HIV. What, what why would they one person so everyone gets tested and then that person's out like cameron bay a female performer are you familiar with this person i don't recognize the name what does she look like oh god here what are her tits like what's a pussy like no she's not my style okay she has been in and out of the industry since 2010 using names ashton cameron lane and Ryder. has tested positive for hiv FSC is the industry's nonprofit wow. trade association that oversees a database of all adult performers' STD tests. Right. After she tested positive, she took a second test, and the result of that test came out positive. Um, she said she plans on doing everything possible to assist the medical professionals and fellow performers. Well, this uh, is what? Just, this is the reason <laughs> they're trying to ban porn without no, hold condom. Hold but but they caught it before she did anything, though, right? They don't know. So FSC t- has been reaching out to any partners that she's had starting two weeks prior to her last negative test, and it's not going to be this moratorium will not be lifted until and unless all individuals individuals test negative so far no other performers have tested positive i I was under the impression that they had a test anytime they shoot a porn without condoms on right now you can test negative for hiv within if you contract it and take a test two months later you might not show it right Mm. at least that's why you take a test every six months Mm -hmm. Mm. 
The more so you know. what are they going to say? Like, they have to wear condoms now and stuff? No one's going to watch the porn anymore. Well, that's... <laughs> I mean, they're trying to pass that regulation in California yeah, anyway. Yeah, that's fucking stupid. No one wants <laughs> so to watch... So this is probably going to push it over the edge. No one wants to watch guys with Jimmy hats. Well, they're just going to start filming it overseas. Right, right. Or oh, we'll do, lose our industries again. Yeah. Do ship our... Ship our outsourcing. Yeah, all the videos I made the in college with you will... Now be a hot commodity because I never wrapped it up with you, baby. Never. <laughs> so, um, you like the raw. This raw is meat. In, this is interesting, though. <laughs> just shut it for just this, just a brief window, so I could talk. Wow, you're feeling just so a nostalgic little lately. tiny window of opportunity, so I could finish an article. <laughs> See, see, you had it and you let it go. Right. Because he's giving me death stare. You see, you say that and then you leave dead air. And I'm going to fill the dead air. Uh, okay. So don't leave me dead air. Okay. So you just did it again. I was about to. I, I took a. I paused before well, I. Listen, this is show showbiz. You got to fill that dead air. <laughs> just always know I can cut the dead air, but you know. She, he does it in post. Can you also cut John talking completely? <laughs> <laughs> I leave him in because he makes me laugh. <laughs> One of our first episodes, the guy we had on, oh, the mic didn't pick up uh, his voice, so uh, it did sound like yeah. we were talking to basically like nobody. Yeah. <laughs> and now you have the opposite situation. <laughs> All right. So basically, this is what I think is an interesting twist. This HIV positive person, the last partner she had a sex scene with was the guy who starred in Sydney Leather's recent porn debut <gasps> entitled Wiener and Me. <laughs> That's excellent, right? Wiener in me or and me? Because <laughs> that oh. makes all the difference. See, in the me world. would be funnier, I think. Wiener. Would you watch it if it was end? I would. I don't think I'd watch it in general because it's oh. not a scenario that entices me. He's got pasta dick. He's got pasta dick. Yeah, I don't want to see his pasta dick. I've seen it once. R- ra- w- round ravioli. I wonder yeah. if they found like a penis double for him. <laughs> yeah, did they do their research? I doubt it. Well, I think this was really done impulsively. They said last year porn star Mr. Marcus admitted to altering his syphilis positive test so he could keep performing. Mm, <gasps> giving everyone the syphilis. It's pretty fucked up. That is fucked up. Mm-hmm. So they all treated their actors for syphilis and they tested them and then he was convicted of knowingly exposing two co-stars to Ooh. syphilis and oh. sentenced to 30 days in jail. That's it? They should give him more for that, man. That's fucked up. He can infect Maybe more they did And were, were the chicks hot that he gave it to? Because that, <laughs> that should increase the sentence. <laughs> I mean, if they were nasty like dogs, then it really doesn't matter. I'm glad you're not a judge. <laughs> <laughs> if they're dogs, you could just put them down and then give them like... But, a- Your Honor, <laughs> the defendants are hot. <laughs> so, something else happened in Florida that was crazy. Shocking. Could I see? This woman, Jean Dixon in Port St. Lucie, <laughs> Funny name. lives... With a 67-year-old guy who sweats a lot. And I'll read this. Police met Dixon and the 67-year-old man at their home around 8 a.m. on August 1st after a domestic disturbance. This morning, they got into a verbal argument in the living room over putting a sheet on the couch because the 67-year-old man sweats a lot. Mm. She basically lost her shit. Ripped his shirt, scratched his chest, and crushed his glasses. The guy had to lock himself in the bathroom to get away from her. And then she pounded on the door and demanded that he opened it. She said she hit him and he clenched. And then she claimed he hit her too. I don't blame her. You know how uncomfortable it is to have someone else's sweat on you? Well, this is what, this is why I'm reading this. I, I cannot, like, I've had Superman come over after he's been definitely not working out, but, you know, (laughs) gardening or something. And, He'll leave like a <laughs> sweat mark on my furniture. Ew. Oh, that's nasty. And it's like rage because I'm like, and and how am I supposed to secrete for you ever again after seeing that? Like that's disgusting. <laughs> Good question. That's gross. You know what I mean? But what was the what was the thing about the the sheet? She was putting down a sheet for him? Well, she basically put a sheet on the couch because she was sick of the spots of sweat. Okay. And he lost his shit, I guess. And was like, you know. Oh, he got pissed off humiliating. at that. And then she flipped out on and him. And then she ripped his shirt, oh, and crushed his glasses, and fucking. <laughs> well, she should have went with plastic tarps. Put a little plastic down, and then he slides right off. <laughs> So who was charged? Like who <laughs> he was charged for sweating? <laughs> <laughs> was he arrested for sweating? Guilty. I think they were both arrested for assault. For ugly. You're yeah. both ugly, and this is 
both go to federal pound you in the ass prison. There's an update on the guy with the 132 pound scrotum. Ooh. Oh god. Are you guys interested? I don't want to see the yes. picture, but yes, I want to know what happened. Okay. In May of 2008. In a household mishap, the Las Vegas man took a blow to his right testicle. Oh, fuck. And that's a big testicle. No, that was before it was big, right? Oh, this is what caused? <laughs> <laughs> this is the origin story. Oh, the this origin. Is the prequel. <laughs> I don't think you articulated that. I know. I'm sorry. He said, I woke up the next day and my scrotum was the size of a honeydew melon. <laughs> Dude, you don't hit your testicle and it grow to the size of a honeydew melon. Apparently you do. No, He's, you don't. Shut up. He was doing something else. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> was he rubbing peanut butter on his it balls? It doesn't happen that way. With that every, with how every the fuck do you know? <laughs> it doesn't fucking happen. How could that fucking happen? You don't happen? know shit. Stop pretending that you do. He's speaking out of fear. Because he <laughs> thinks it's going to happen fear. to him. And that's why he's being defensive. You bang your nuts and maybe they grow to the size of a fucking baseball. They don't grow to the size of fucking... Oh, yeah? How many times mind. have you hit your nuts and I've, they've swelled listen, to a significant size? Guys bang their nuts into shit all the time when you swing and you dick around and stuff. <laughs> it happens. But never grows to that size. Yeah, I've seen, <laughs> I've seen the fucking <laughs> picture. The guy wears a hoodie. All right. Yeah, the oh, audience want to, wants to. You want me to yeah. slam my nuts. my truck nuts on mm-hmm. the yep. on the table? Mm-hmm. You can have yeah. Let me one try of the it cats out. Bite your nuts oh, or, or like no. claw it. No, it didn't say anything about like cutting it or anything. All like right, that. his scrotum grows three pounds or more every month, and he has no health insurance, and he has little opportunity to seek help. So he said, even when he got offers to help, oh. it was hard. He goes, it was so large, I can't even get on a plane to get oh, the help okay. because his scrotum's too big to use an airplane restroom. All right. He I got balls the size of grapefruit. Yeah, but he also needs a separate chair for it, probably. All right. Fuck. Howard Stern got listeners to send him to see a California urologist who specializes in scrotal lymphedema. And the surgery required 13 hours in the operating oh, table. Oh, Christ. Um, Would they pull out of that thing like a <laughs> fucking a fetus? They found that his penis was buried under a foot of tissue. Oh, yeah. We didn't even think about that. Oh, yeah. So he hadn't seen his penis in fucking So years. this guy, his his quote was... How was he peeing, It though? didn't have to be this way. <laughs> How was he peeing? I like I said last time. I don't time, know. I don't... <laughs> it's so good to see you again, penis. I've missed you so much. It didn't have to be this way. Did they? Would they remove? I'll never abandon you again. A tumor? Like what the fuck was in there? Testicle man origins. This summer. When he left his surgery, did he they was take it out? Two hundred pounds lighter. They show an after picture. I don't know. So basically, he's saying that it didn't have to be this way. He's blaming the Republicans. <laughs> I would too. Fuck him. <laughs> That's what? what I said last time. This Terrible is just healthcare? a yes. This is just <laughs> commentary on how horrible the healthcare system in America is. <laughs> He's like, we've become what the old Soviet Union used to be. A country that can't meet the basic needs of its people. This guy is just a democratic shill with fake giant balls. Okay. You know what? I agree. Imagine if I had desires. There isn't anything I could have done about it. Meaning he doesn't, but imagine if he did. Yeah. But. He has little, lucky he's asexual. He has little or no testosterone as a result of the condition. Oh, I see. Oh. That makes sense. I, were we supposed to know that? No, I'm telling you. Oh, okay. No. Like, I gave the quote as a attention grabber. Yes. And then I told you I about the you. testosterone right. while trying not to be interrupted. <laughs> Go <Good> ahead. Move. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> All right, he didn't have insurance, fine. But the asshole waited till it was the size, like an unreal size. When it first, as he said, became a honeydew size, which is probably bullshit. It was probably like slowly, gradually got to that size. Don't you get it taken care of then? What the fuck are there like urgent care clinics? Yeah, right, exactly, that you can go into. Guess who wants his own podcast? Oh, he's going to be in competition (laughs) with us now? Can he please you come on? He just said talk radio is a passion of mine. I want to ask him everything. I think we need to reach out. And get him please. on the show? No, I'm dead ass serious. So somebody can do this. You're going to the Middle East, though. Well, I assume he's booked up for a couple months. Yeah. So. Um, well, he can Skype in. I mean, I honestly don't want his testicles, testicles anywhere. Here. I'll call up Tosh and see uh, what his phone number is. <laughs> what a dumbass. Well, are you, what, you're mad about this, too. <laughs> It's just stupidity. It's just fucking pure stupidity. And then it gets that big and it's like, oh, it's everyone's fault. That's no, so fucking big. No, but seriously, big. what's better? Going into debt or having another person 
hanging off your body by your testicles, basically. You wouldn't have went into debt. He could have went into some fucking black marketplace and had it removed and sold. He probably would have made <laughs> money off the shit. <laughs> I yeah, don't think that's an accurate Gary and cut him out. Do you guys know what a liquid lap dance is? <laughs> Can I tell you what Please. just popped in my head when you said yes. that? What? Yes. What? Just, uh, just give me a what? Tell me. <laughs> what is it? I, I don't know. I'm. I'm. What? You're. You're lost. I'm thinking along the same lines as the butt chugging, except with a female <laughs> orifice. I pictured a human slip and slide. Like I pictured an oiled up female <laughs> with like a shot of liquor in her vagina, and then she gets up on the chair where you're sitting. And she squats above your face and she releases her muscles, and then you do the shot. Similar to what I observed you getting at a party once. Yes, yes, you remember that? that's true. <laughs> remember but that? she didn't. He was laying on but, a no, floor. No, hold on. She didn't hold it in her vagina. She just poured it down poured it her down, vagina crack. That's down her you that's, into your mouth. What is, that's not a liquid. What is it? Oh, but according to your logic, if she did that, then the vodka would have moved from her vagina some up into it, her asshole. asshole and it, you'd be tasting asshole. No, no, no. Some of it probably did trickle up her ass, but most of it came he down. He was so happy. So it was he a J. Was ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah it'd be a yeah, uh, yeah. She's dressed up as San- Mrs. Claus, too. <laughs> she had a great Sexy. boob job for a 50 year old. She had a C section <laughs> scar. <laughs> Felt so bad. All right, anyway. Yeah, I would have thrown her the bone. Let's give it a smooth <laughs> on. Liquid lap dance pants promise to be the best strip club invention since the pole. Okay. Are you starting <laughs> to th- think about what it might be? Nope. I still have the, pants the same that picture have in my head. <laughs> it's the world's first underpant designed specifically for lap dances. Basically, they do, they do special things with your junk. Are they publicly S- traded? I want to buy stock. I don't know. So then when you get a lap dance, it feels like two lubed ass cheeks sliding up and down you. What? It's like an attachment you put in your shorts? You no, know, you buy these. Um, and then it proceeds to safely and discreetly conceal your post-orgasm spunk. Depending on your point of view, it's either revolutionary or creepy. So basically, here it goes. Here's what. Here's Do they have this. a picture of the apparatus? I don't think they have a picture, but here, it, look. It's patent pending. This is what they say. They moisturize and lubricate your penis. So it's a fleshlight. Each pair has a soft latex extension in front to caress and stimulate the male anatomy. Add a squirt of lube, and you're ready for the best dance, lap dance of your life. Oh, so you squirting yourself before they lap dance you? Well, yeah. You gotta set, you gotta set this whole thing up. But they do the up. movement, and then right. they provide provide you with the space to get fully excuse erect. Me, excuse me, Miss Miss Lap Dancer. Let me squirt this in my pants before you do your job. Oh, this, but you this s- is the gimmick of their their you strip club. Like they probably have like No, a, it's not a strip club. You go to any strip club with this on. Lube, oh, lube yourself oh, up in your pants. Oh, way before. They probably get thrown out. People Why? Throw them out. They nobody knows that you've come in that your pants. There's no it's way. discreet. There's no way it's discreet. It contains your semen, so it doesn't leak out. Right. So, okay, I'll put a plastic bag over my dick and go, like, there, I just invented the same fucking thing. Right. Here are some testimonials. I'll put a water snake (laughs) on my dick (laughs) with a plastic bag around it to keep all the semen in. Done. You're fucking... I'm a genius. Genius inventor. (laughs) Entrepreneur. Um, I'm going to come up with a club... You should bring that that on Shark Tank. ...that does an actual liquid lap dance like I just described. Well, this says, men say it feels like two lubed ass chains. It feels like a pair of oil titties bouncing up and down your cock. No, it, doesn't. it feels like you're fucking a really loose pussy. <laughs> uh, wow, that's such a good selling point. <laughs> this guy Are you says, reading reviews this, off of Amazon.com? No. For this product? <laughs> look, up, look up if they have it, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I literally sat home because I didn't have liquids. Liquid whatever it's called. I don't even want to go to the strip club without them anymore, it says. Clubs in Canada, I don't know if they do that around here, but uh, the strip clubs in Canada, they would put down a um, like a do-rag over your lap so that if you busted, it wouldn't go through your pants onto there. Like, because they, 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 they take off the Amazon. bottoms. Okay, here it is. This is the video? Like mm-hmm. the Okay, but they're, they're, not, they're showing a stripper's ass. It says the revolutionary new product for guys. They're still showing the same stripper. That she's makes not, lap dances feel. She's not that cute. She's not that cute at like all. And really her underwear vagina. is disgusting, dude. Get some sexy panties if you're going to be on the... Her vagina oh. sexy. Amazing. Amazing. Guys, put on a pair. Of what? Show the product. Why are they showing her and get ready to enjoy the best lap dance of your life? So now she's rubbing her ass against his cock. 
Right, which is hot. Even do they do that, though? Yes. Imagine, I don't know oh, how yeah. lap dances work. Yeah, they do the shit out of that. Imagine a pair of underwear designed to glide up and down your penis. This is the worst marketing She's, So video. lap dances mean basically dry humping? Oh, yeah, it's all dry I've never humping. seen a lap dance. I've never gotten a lap dance like this. Maybe you, they weren't attracted to me. No, you got to go into private rooms. Oh. Like the separate rooms. Oh. And you pay $20 a song. It's fucking expensive oh, as hell. I've never done that. The more you pay, the more they do. That girl got a, yeah. that girl got a good Brazilian. So yeah. she's upside down right now? Yeah, she's like he's sitting laid so down. She's, she's upside goes, down! She's going down now. Look, she's basically doing push ups. She's rubbing her tits on his, uh, like her lack of tits, but she's rubbing them on her. <laughs> That's a terrible top. Ugh. And still, we still haven't seen this thing. There is nothing sexy about we this. We still haven't seen the product. Do they touch your cock like that? Usually, no. That's <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> this is kind of a weird lap dance. No, they don't do that. In Canada, if you don't come, we'll give you a full refund. All right, that's pretty legit. We should order this. Mm. But guys, come easily. Like that's not even a guarantee. Like a good guarantee to make. I wonder how much you don't it- speak for all men. Oh, boy. How much do you think it costs? Quick shipping and discreet Forty nine ninety nine. Yeah, I bet you it's fucking mad expensive, too. Buy for yourself or the perfect gift? My Single pops love strip clubs. Oh, it comes the bachelor, bachelor party. party pack. This is such horse shit. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how much do they tell you? Oh, we got to go to the uh, yeah, uh, website. Stupid. And you know what? That'll probably make a ton of fucking money. Yep. <sighs> Why are you so upset about that? You know, I could, wear, I could wear a plastic bag over my dick and silk boxers and get the exact same effect. Somehow I doubt that. Silk boxers fucking feel good. Wouldn't, I had to stop wearing silk wouldn't boxers. Wouldn't the fucking bag negate the boxers? Mm, Touche salesman. One pair of liquid lap dance is 20 bucks. What a bargain. I wish the I had a The bachelor party pack is $99. Well, there we go. What the hell is it? It looks like an ice pack. <laughs> <laughs> well, you think you open it and you put it on. They're not showing what you put on. I want to buy one just to see what the fuck it looks like. We should buy just one. Just get a lot of paper towels and shove it on your dick. Yeah. Right. <laughs> a sock, for Christ's sakes. It doesn't tell you what it looks like. A water snake. That's why it's no. bullshit. If it, if it showed a picture or something, then I would be a little bit more inclined to believe it. They, they don't want you to We have a idea. small supply of one pack, so we recommend ordering a three pack for prompt delivery. Bullshit. And you would think they would show something in the video that some, you know, some kind of like him product. putting it on before entering the room. Or just what is it like? Pull down the fly so you can see that there's something there. He didn't have anything on. That's bullshit. And have him display his dry pan front when he was. That done. was a pretty hot lap dance. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, it was a pretty good lap dance. <laughs> At least we got that. She wasn't very attractive though. But yeah. all right, I got an article from TP. Yeah. There's an Idaho man. Yes. We love Idaho. Shall I, before you begin? Bring on bestiality! Yes. My favorite topic. Bestiality! Bring on the bestiality! I want to hear it! I want to hear it! Give it to me, bestiality! Yeah! Moo! Moo! Uh, uh. Moo! Moo! Uh. Look at that guy. Look at that handsome guy. Oh, man. Yeah. Looks just like an animal rapist. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if it's... No, I'm not going to go there. Please don't. Ryan Haven's Tannel Holes, a self-identified furry or someone who wears <laughs> anthropomorphic... Am yeah. I saying you that wear, right? Yeah. You wear a bear costume. Animal fursuit yeah. was charged with six felony accounts, counts of crimes against nature, and one misdemeanor count of cruelty to an animal. It's not cruelty. Police say the 28-year-old man sexually abused the cat multiple times. Hurt his cat? Between January 2012 and January 2013 wow. after an extensive investigation. How do you do a cat? Police secured an arrest warrant and arrested him the following day after getting the warrant. It just means that this... I wonder how they got him. Yeah, how they find out? Did, um, did the cat, you, did the cat skipped complain? reading the, the best part, which was the title of the article. Is he a perfect lover? <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? The guy dressed as a dog. While he fucked the cat. That is awesome. <laughs> 
<laughs> I thought they were gonna like mention it. I want to know. I want an interview with the cat. He, the guy portrays himself as a black and Meow. white husky. He calls bubblegum husky. He, he is a bubble. A gum. blue fox. He calls kismet fox, or an unnamed purple canine, according to the furry community news magazine Flyra. <laughs> he was probably bragging to the other furries, and they turned him in like a bunch of bitches. He could face up to five years in prison for each of the felony counts. Five years, and that. That other guy got, what, 30 days mm-hmm. for giving people syphilis mm-hmm. or it's whatever the fuck it was? That's Just, justice. That's horse shit. <laughs> <laughs> no pun intended. Look. You shouldn't get oh, <laughs> <laughs> This is the picture of the dog, one of those animals. That I love furry. That is an aqua blue fox it's or such a wolf. <laughs> interesting phenomenon. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, he's so cute. Uh, There's so many questions I'd like to ask (laughs) about this case. First of all, the mechanics behind fucking a cat. You can... What do you mean? It has a hole? Yeah, but it's so tiny, though. I I would be worried about, like... Wouldn't you want that? You'd be worried about hurting it? Like... You'd be worrying about secretions? That's why you got five years in jail, you schmuck. You worried about <laughs> damaging its insides or something. You really think You're that okay these people with give a shit? You're women when they sleep. I bet you he loves that cat. I bet you he does care if the cat was hurt. I doubt no, it. No, I don't. I mean, the cat was probably had its tail up in the air asking for it, but still, he should kind of... I'm hoping he eased it in, and over time, he would wow. really get it in. Please read the next article, even though it also has to do with cat fucking. <laughs> Get the fuck out. (laughs) All right. Here's the title. Molly sent me this article. I I don't know why I did this, because I (laughs) vowed to never discuss BCL. You're asking for it. (laughs) But I saw the title, and I had to. I'm turning all of you into fans. (laughs) I had sex with my cat, and everyone knows. (laughs) It was my favorite book when I was a kid. (laughs) It's a pop-up book. (laughs) This is what an Oklahoma woman explained to her arresting officer. What? It's it's got to be even harder for a female to have sex with a cat. <sighs> Let's just listen. <laughs> Let's listen, kids. <laughs> Convinced that a neighbor spoke to others about her having sex with a cat, an Oklahoma woman allegedly threatened the man with a knife saying, do you want to die? Mm. Oklahoma City cops arrested Christina Michelle Brown following her bizarre confrontation Monday afternoon with 72-year-old Elmer Morrison. The 23-year-old Brown was charged with assault and battery with a deadly weapon, a felony, and booked into jail where she's being held in lieu of $5,000 bail. According to an Oklahoma City police report, Morrison told a cop that Brown had been standing at the fences between the fence between their houses yelling, come outside. I know you're in there. Um, and then she asked the man, do you want to die? When police questioned Brown, she explained that she was upset with Morrison because of what he did to me. When a cop asked what, she said, because everyone knows I had sex with my cat and everyone knows. A puzzled cop asked Brown what role Morrison had in the cat sex. She replied her next door neighbor had no connection to the act, saying she's just mad because everyone knows. Morrison says he does not know about what she did with the cat, but she's mad at him and wants him to die. To be fair, I would be pissed, too. (laughs) If everyone found out I was a cat fucker. Seriously. Again, the mechanics. I'd be so interested to find out how... How would... How would... First of all, how would you you think it would happen? First of all... For a female, and I'm assuming a male cat, that she's not strapping a dildo. Male cats have barbed penises. I mean, she could strap a dildo (laughs) on the cat. It's a possibility. (laughs) She could, like, strap it on its head and, like, shove its head. <laughs> I don't even think she had... I think she's probably um, schizophrenic. Psychotic. Crazy. And she's just... Yeah. Like... Because a, a cat... Mm, totally delusional. Tuna fish. The cat... It, it, the penis has got to be too small. And mm, tuna fish. <laughs> <laughs> All like right. A guy having sex with a cat, although extraordinary, <laughs> seems doable. <laughs> It seems mechanically possible. Right. They got that, you know, you'd have to... (laughs) You'd have to really (laughs) shove it right in that little butthole. Ew. (laughs) Stop it. Now, I'm going to move on to something that's not bestiality, Uh, only because... Show over. This is interesting, and we're talking about the justice system. A couple who had a lot of oral sex on a plane could face 90 days in jail. (laughs) 
Mm. An Oregon, Oregon couple the Mile High Club was caught engaging oral sex, in this case a blowjob, and are now facing 90 days in jail on federal charges. Federal charges of lewd, indecent, and obscene acts on an airplane. Wait, were they in the bathroom of the airplane, or were they like in one, those three-person rows and they're the two people sitting next to one person? They were on a 90-minute flight from Oregon to Nevada this past June when Strobel who's the lady, began going down on Martin, the man. A passenger sitting across from the couple wrote that they witnessed Strobel perform oral sex and manually stimulate the genitalia of a male passenger sitting in the window seat next to her. Okay. They couldn't keep it in their pants for 90 minutes. (laughs) After the completion of the act, Strobel wiped off her mouth while the male put his penis back inside (laughs) his pants. But the couple wasn't quite done. After drink service, they engaged in oral sex a second time. With Martin having his hand on the back of the female's neck and was, quote, in his own world. Passengers told an FBI agent that Martin then pulled the female's shirt down and began kissing her exposed breast. Uh. Finally, a flight attendant asked the couple to stop. Huh. The Strobel, the woman, told the smoking gun that she was unaware that charges had been filed against them and that she had no contact information for Martin. What? Huh. I'm sure she's Wait, just like this saying. This like a one night and uh, on a plane. There we go. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's got those gums that, like, cover half the tooth. Mm-hmm. Ugh. <laughs> That's fucking disgusting. Is that your takeaway? <laughs> That's all I'll remember from that article. He looks like the type of guy that would <laughs> yeah, like get hold a your head down and not, yeah. You want peanuts? Give me a fucking blowy first. You want to ride with the champ? <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a guy that would call you champ. Champ. Hey, champ. He probably has truck nuts. Hey, get down on your stomach, champ. All right, I'm going to do one more article because it's phenomenal. All right. A 70-year-old Australian man was rushed to the hospital after he attempted this. I'm going to show everyone a picture. Is that a fork? Oh, my God. <laughs> Is that a fork? Oh, jeez. Yes. That's a fork. <laughs> Oh, wait, oh. is it in his penis yep. or his ass? Oh, my fucking oh. Christ. Oh. <laughs> ah. The man can't look. I love seeing John in pain. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. He was admitted to the hospital with... How did he get the fucking... <laughs> the, 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 how did he get the spike then in? <laughs> how did he fucking do that, dude? <laughs> Oh, my God. That's... Oh, my God. He was admitted with bleeding. Oh, my fucking God. Urethral metus. Holy Meta- shit. Me- metus? He doesn't... Just- after, <laughs> after he stuffed a four-inch fork ah. into his urethra in an attempt to achieve sexual gratification. Fortunately, the fork was removed using forceps and copious no, he lubrication. Should have, no, he should have his penis removed. If, if you abuse it to that extent... You don't deserve a penis. I'm sorry. Ah! That's on. That's fucking. Ah! No, just no. Ah! No excuse. Are you ready? Ah! This isn't the first time he stuck shit up oh, there. Oh come on, dude. Ah! No shit. You would have to like. Oh, he ah! has stayed your way up there. Pens. Ah! Oh, fuck. <laughs> Safety ah! pins. Oh my god. Telephone cables. Glue. Cocaine. Straws. Cocaine, I can understand. (laughs) At least you're making money off of it. Marbles. Marbles. Light bulbs. What? That must be in his ass. Carrots and snakes. Snakes. Good idea. (laughs) Okay. Where was the guy from? This is a thing. Australia. Some people really like sticking things in their people. Oh, fuck. My fucking urethra hurts right now. Just thinking about it. All right, we were talking about justice. Here's a guy that is going that is uh, facing ten years in prison for returning used enemas. <laughs> you can go to jail for that. Returning used how long? Fuck. How long? Ten years. Yep. Okay. Used enemas, huh? He Wait. returned used enemas to a pharmacy in Florida. Yep. And the products were resold to customers before workers discovered that they had been tampered with. And he can face ten so, years. Wow, crafty. What? He would use you the You think enema. he gets off on that? Like, oh, yeah. Take my shit. He would use it and what? Like, repackage it? Reseal it? I don't know. Because I would assume that they're in, like, some kind of sealed plastic, you know, like, 
it's like a tubing and shit. Yeah. Right? It would be like in a package. Right. So it would I mean, be it was just in a box and he put it back in the box. Yeah. I mean, I have huge shits. Like when I was a kid, I, I worked at a, a, a gift shop. I used <laughs> to open. It's going to be such a good story. I used to open Pokemon cards and <laughs> take out all the good cards and then I'd re- reseal the pack. Mm, that's shocking. And, and sometimes I would put my. I, write on paper like you've won the Pokemon prize and I'd write my friend's phone numbers and put it in the pack and then my friends would get phone calls from kids <laughs> looking for the Pokemon You're prize. You're such an <laughs> asshole. But like maybe they So use basically the same thing as resealing enemas. Right. So you use like a heat press or something to like reseal the plastic right. and then give it back. So you could be facing 10 years in prison. Oh, I just announced You're better, off. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. better off just giving people syphilis. Yeah, right, yeah, right. you only get 30 days. Right. Fuck. This is funny. This guy is Who 21. Looks like someone I know. He's accused of getting naked and climbing onto a couple's roof, then assaulting one of the homeowners before pooping and masturbating inside the house. <laughs> Take that, owners. So was he on bath salts? The pooping is just the icing on the cake. And now we're from our sponsor. You know what I fucking hate? When I'm watching TV and they got these boner commercials on TV telling me, oh, you know, take my product and all this like bullshit with chicks and cars and crap. Like, dude, if you're going to sell me a fucking pill, just say, yo, take this pill. It's going to pop you a good boner so you can plow your girl later on, give her a good jackhammering, whatever. You know, and that's Enzite, man. Enzite just gets to the fucking point. Take this shit. You're going to be nailing your girlfriend. No problem. Your wife, whatever. That's the shit right there, bro. Take that. Millions of men rely on Enzyme brands for a confident performance anytime, every time. Just one capsule a day, like taking a vitamin, is all you need for strong peak male enhancement. What could be easier than that? If you're looking for the most powerful erections imaginable, you need to try Enzyme, the thinking man's product for erectile quality. If you call now, you can score a special Enzyme trial pack for the sack and receive a 10-day sample of Ogoplex for the ultimate male experience. Free with your order. Call now for the most powerful Powerful erections imaginable with the Enzyme trial pack for the sack. Call 1 800 606 5715. 1 800 606 5715. Or go to smilingbob.com. 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 Get hard or go home, bro. Do we want to do a Bruno? Oh, Bruno. Let's see. What does he have to say? Hey, why are you sucking bed fans? It's Bruno. <laughs> So I just ran into you outside, and I was talking to you. Uh, what happened to you, you, you yesterday? You, it was pretty interesting. What, just, don't, just don't say your name, but say, what happened to you? I was left in a hotel room naked. Just left. He just left. Just left. And you have, and you had a, a suite, and, and but he got naked too, right? Oh yeah, he got naked first. And and then and then left me in a hotel room, naked. <laughs> and, uh, why did he leave? You don't know. I don't know. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You're very pissed, obviously. It's an understatement. So, but this wasn't just like a... Uh, you, you actually knew this person. It wasn't like, hey, you just met this person. You actually know this person. Yeah, we've been uh, talking for almost a year. And... So, but the problem is that he got naked first. Yeah, he totally got naked first. And, and now, and you got naked, and then he leaves you. Yeah. Yeah, he left me naked. He must have been ugly. <laughs> well, he was naked, too. I don't oh. get it. So, needs to say, what do you think you need to do with this person? Is it done? Oh, it's over. Yeah. It's done. You're beyond it now? Yeah. We're way beyond it. <laughs> I, I never heard of anybody... 
being left naked in a hotel. So this is a first I've, for me. I've heard of a lot of that. I've done that. And the thing that really people. bothers me is that he kind of got naked first. Yeah, he did. So that kind of like throws off this whole. Like, that's why I had to record it because I've never exactly seen anything. What Girls, what do you like, think ah, about no, uh, what just people. happened? Being left naked in a hotel room. In a king size bed too, right? In a king size bed, in a, in a suite. It was, it was, it was, that was planned. It was planned. This was planned. Uh-huh. I'm thinking yeah, it was planned. He was supposed no, to be here, and he was supposed to fuck me, and he did not. Oh. So give me your comments. I, I have I have no idea what to tell this poor woman. Thank you. Hopefully, it works out for you in the end. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was that was quite random. I don't know, Bruno. I mean, you seem surprised, so I'm thinking she's not gross. Maybe he was cheating on someone. Maybe he got a call. Maybe he couldn't get it up. Maybe he was drunk. Maybe she was too hot and he was intimidated. Didn't have his liquid lap pants. Yeah. I don't know. Can you think of any other scenarios? Why did you leave naked ladies in hotels? Because I would see what I was getting into. And it was like, <laughs> Literally, holy what I was fuck. getting into. I was like, shit, no, I'm going to go leave. There was one case, <laughs> and I, I think I said this on air, there was one case where the bush was just a fucking ridiculous it was so gross that i was like i'm gonna go sleep somewhere else i always imagine you know that movie horton hears a who yep there's a a big elephant and he picks up a flower and he realizes there's a whole like universe in the flower yeah. of people i always think of that when someone talks about an enormous bush like i wonder if there's like a little <laughs> like, <laughs> like all kinds of oh bugs. no <laughs> call me of who's <laughs> who's we killed in my so pubic you just killed a lot <laughs> of who's during your brazilian uh what's your take on the whole uh, Anthony Weiner uh, sexing scandal. Are you familiar with it? I sure am. I think that he should definitely be out of politics. Is there anything wrong with sexting if you're married? I know to your wife? <laughs> well, married to a guy or whatever. Or like, if, you're know, married, you sex if you're married with to your partner? Uh, with your spouse? Uh, somebody else other than your, who you're married with. Yeah, of course there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. Now, what, what about sexting with your spouse? <laughs> Go right do you Do you do that at all? I mean, you're single, right? I'm single. You, you just told me. Now, if you had a girlfriend, you had a girlfriend. Have I sex? Mm-hmm. Have yeah. I sex with the girls? Yes, yeah. of course. Uh, now, have you actually used the sex thing to actually like masturbate? No. Did you say you were actually masturbating, but on the thing? But no, no, no. So, what about? Have you read Fifty Shades of Grey? No, no. Would you be into dominating a girl? Fuck yeah, yeah. You think a girl would be into it? I know they are. How do you know? Because they're experience. Yeah. So you actually dominated a girl. Sure. Uh, how though? Uh, uh, in bed? Clearly. Uh, what? What's the one thing you've done in bed, sexually, that would make you believe that you dominated a girl? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Choke a girl while she's while you're fucking her. You choked the girl while you were fucking her. Yeah. Uh, did she like yeah, it? She it. wanted me to. Did, did she have marks on her neck? She was kicking me while she, while I was doing it. <laughs> Was there a safe word? Uh, no, actually. No? Is there one thing sexually that, that you haven't done in bed that you would want to do still? Yeah, three or four girls at once. Uh, have you had... Have you... Sh- have you ever... Sh- now you're single. Have you ever shared a girlfriend with another friend? Like you were with someone and your friend wanted to have like a threesome and you invited him into bed. Would you? Would you be into that? Not really, no. No, because they're your uh, girl. Uh, wait, hold on. Uh, another guy or two girls? Uh, put it this way. If she's your girlfriend and you invite another guy in, would you be into that? Not particularly, no. Okay. But if your friend was dating a girl or married to a girl, would you, and they asked you to partake, would you partake? That's how hot she was. Oh, that's what, how hot she is, right? Of course. That's a good uh, answer. Okay. That's a good well, answer. This is funny. Is there anything you've ever done, nothing you want to do sexually that you haven't done yet? Other than three or four girls that you said. Oh, I'm sure I could think of a few things. No. Have you ever DP'd a girl with a friend? No. Have you ever been involved in a threesome? Yes. Uh, the cool kind. You mean one girl, two guys? No, two girls, one guy. Yes. Whoa. Fucking A. I'm holding my arms up. All right, right. right. That, so the cool kind for you, obviously. Did you fuck any girl in the ass? Yes. And where'd you finish during that threesome? I don't remember. Uh, probably. Which one? Oh, you have more than one. Well, okay, like the best one. 
<laughs> like, where would you finish? If you have a threesome and when you're with two girls, one guy, two girls. Double facial. Double facial. Yeah. And the girls are into it? Sure. Yeah. Now, do you, <laughs> two now, do you, have, you want, of course. Now, do you have to ask the girl, if you fuck if you fuck a girl in the ass, do you have to ask the girl, like, <laughs> yeah, can I fuck you yeah, in the ass? Yeah, or do you just stick yeah. it in? Double Depends facial. Who the girl is. Okay. On who the girl is? Who the girl is. Have you ever done that? Just shoved it in there and say, fuck it. Both. How did they? Did you, they just took it within without permission. Uh, Terrible. No. <laughs> One girl got fucking pissed. Yeah. What did she say? Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> did she say fuck off or did she continue? But like you had to put it in the other hole. No, no, no. She let me continue. Yeah. Have you ever gone down on a girl while she was on her period? Sadly, yes. And what happened? Did you did you go and she warned you? It was messy. <laughs> oh, you kept on going. <laughs> yeah, I can't. Motherfucker, this guy's a trooper. Really? I've been drinking Everclear, guys. Really? <laughs> yeah, is this really going to be on the air? Yeah. You're lying to me. Right, I, I, I am not lying. Go. Fuck off. Don't go anywhere. Good you, you, can, you can fix it up. Finish it up later. I'm going to fucking see you down there. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, thank you for your time. Yeah, lots more stories. I'm going to fucking see him down there. Peace. That guy sounds like someone I want to hang out with. Yeah. He sounds Same. super fun and super adventurous. And he gave all the right answers. Yeah, but what were the right answers? What he said. I mean, what did you? Wh- why would you think they're right? Because that's, that's right and wrong, and that was right. Like, what the fuck? Like, two plus two is four. Why is it four? Because that's what it is. It's fucking right. And that's the problem with your thinking. That there's right and wrong? Insects. Incest? Insects. Incest is okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get an incest <laughs> song now? I'm working on it right now. As long as it's like, now, a, keep talking. like a first, a second cousin. Okay. First cousin's a little too close. It's really, really awesome. Maybe st- stepsister is okay. Stepfather. I'm gonna do some emails. Stepsister. Okay. I think next show the emails are gonna be like, get rid of John. <laughs> I I, <laughs> I disagree. Okay. My hundred fans will stand behind me. It's time to answer your emails. Where is Barney? Let's get him back on the show. <laughs> yeah. Where is that mess of a man? <laughs> Not getting laid. This guy is the guy that emailed us for help about getting his lady to watch porn. Ooh. Remember? Yeah. So he wrote, I just want to write back and say thanks for all your help. Everyone on the show really gave me some good ideas, and the next chance I get, I'll use them. With that comes my next question. All right. Why does it seem the older the relationship gets, the less sex happens between a couple? Mm. I can see it happening a little in my relationship now. I was wondering if that is just what happens in a relationship or is it me wanting sex too much? To give you some info about myself and my girlfriend so you can all help me, I'm 21 and she's 19 and we have been together a little over a year. And it will be two weeks with no sex on Saturday and we normally have sex once a week. I hope you can all help like you did last time. Keep up the great work and amazing sound effects. That's not even a lot. Like as far as amount for their age, right. you should be having a ton more be, sex. Right? Yeah. Unless you when don't. I have, was nineteen. I was fucking like four times a day. Unless you don't have a place to have sex. Mm, that's that's true. true. And if you're then working, it's a little more difficult. Yeah. They're not working. <laughs> <laughs> Those damn kids they don't work. Kids these days don't work. They're with their texting and their sexting. <laughs> Those whippersnappers. So you're solving crimes it's because in the you, you get like used to the person. It, like you got to do things to spice it up. It's almost like you know you uh, not not after what, how long would it get a month? Or something? A year. Oh, a year. little over right. a year. Yeah, I mean you, you know you've seen the person. You know you've smelt their morning breath. You've seen them. You know maybe taking a shit. I mean. Yeah, you gotta get like that. Always happens. You gotta set the mood. You gotta <laughs> the set second the you see them take a shit, it's over. <laughs> you gotta set the mood and get sexy time and like do like different things, kind of mm-hmm. spice it up every once in a while. Yeah, I think you're not just all the time. Complacent. Yeah, I think that's what happens. I mean, I don't know that it's always a bad thing. It's like you're getting yeah, you're you get comfortable. comfortable, right? It's almost like you don't have to. Sometimes people have a ton of sex to distract themselves from the issues in the relationship. Yes. Or there. if in someone's insecure about keeping the person, they mm. feel like they have to constantly please them. So true doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing, but if you want more sex, then you need to talk about it. And I do think you should be having more sex for your age. It's kind of interesting. And your libido is going nuts, so I can only imagine how frustrated you are. Yeah, try... He's 21. Try toys, try scenarios, try... Take her to dinner and, you know, do it that way, too. You know, you can get toys. Twisted toys with a Z dot net. Punching the code suck. Don't write out with a Z. It just has a Z. <laughs> 
Try having her put the, get the condoms on with her feet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Punch in the code SUCK and get 20% off. Really hot sex toys. Twistedtoys.net. Let's see. So we'll do another email. Anything else you want to say? Um, no, you should be banging more, dude. Get on it. This guy's name is Joe. Hi, Doc. I love the show. Believe me, it's an exceptional way to put some spice into an otherwise boring day at work. You worry too much about staying on topic, though. I realize someone has to bring some order to the group. Still, while I show find the show informative, I think it's the chemistry and exchanges between the four or five, hi, Henry, that make the show entertaining. You have an amazing group of bright, witty cohorts. Oh, Grazie. I write today to say that John is smarter than you all give him credit for. What? I think I wrote this. To <laughs> I wrote this to myself. I think you did too. <laughs> Whenever a dubious scientific article is brought up, he jumps in too quickly with his objections. <laughs> I think if he waited until the study, until he heard the study and its findings were, and they were completely revealed, you and Molly would be more likely to take his skepticism seriously. Yeah, exactly. That said, I'm thinking what he's saying right about the time it's coming out of his mouth. So I understand his desire to put it out there before the topics passed him. Anyway, John is hilarious and definitely makes the podcast. Please don't stroke his ego. I just, I have a short attention span <laughs> and memory. I can't, if I, like, if I don't say this right now, I'm going to forget <laughs> two seconds. I would rather that happen. <laughs> Of course, I've got love for the rest of you, too. Molly plays an excellent straight man to John's cut-up antics, and I've got a lot of respect for TP. He's the sort of guy Fuck who yeah. would make a great friend. Anyway. Oh, where the hell are you getting on from? <laughs> Romance! You're my friend, Jeffrey. Come over here and give me a hug. i got room in the graves. You want to come? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, keep it coming, Joe. That was very sweet. That was what good. do you have to say? You never get emails I like that. I never get nice emails. So, Joe's, Joe, I hope you follow me. Shoot me a, <laughs> shoot me a tweet so I know who you are. <laughs> That's all you <laughs> care about. This is your ploy to get <laughs> another <laughs> I follower. get one more follower out of the whole thing. <laughs> You're so obsessed with your followers. I, I, I've been interact. You suggest that I interact a little more. So you have. Well, you've been interact, trying. You know? Yeah. When you, people say something interesting, then I'll jump on it. I'm Tweeting trying. pictures of illustrated dick. Is considered interacting. Yes, <laughs> okay. the cat, the cat with the dick. Come on, <laughs> that was fucking hilarious. <laughs> All right, here's an email from Michael. Uh, the subject is dildo debate, and mm. he writes, "Who does this? Who keeps a dildo molded from her ex-boyfriend's <laughs> cock? Oh, see, he's pissed. and has someone else get her off with it? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, <laughs> I am pissed. totally with the guys. This is grounds for way more than a breakup. He dies, she dies, everyone dies. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, <laughs> when they found." <laughs> When they found his body, they'd find his molded cock dildo in his own ass and the root end stuck in her fucking mouth. That is a classic cunt whore bitch move. Wow, I like this guy. What's his name again? <laughs> Michael. Michael, you'd admit You'll take my cock from my dead stinking ass. <laughs> <laughs> well said, brother. Well said. Well said. Oh, I'm happy we got some feedback I, on that. He agrees on the Mach 13. Mach 13. <laughs> scorched earth. <laughs> Oh, so remember I read that last episode, I wrote, read that email from Alan about how he's having sex with his wife while she's sleeping. Oh, yeah, 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 oh, yeah. Oh, great. How can I mean, we I, forget? I'm so glad we have a follow-up. That, uh, that was a centerpiece to our discussion. He's, um, he's apologized for mixing you up with TP. <laughs> oh. oh, oh wow. That was like, Thank you. <laughs> that Thank you. That was quick. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. That was a quick uh, yeah, rewrite I just there. received that Newspapers email. don't I even get just, to Just thought I'd let you know. Edit there. Okay. Thank you, Al. I didn't take any offense Thank to you. it. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Al. I don't believe you. <laughs> all right. Does anyone else have anything else? Or are we, we all fucking tired? I mean, you rant sometimes, Jeffrey. Come I on. never rant, no. I'm donezo. Go to Amazon.com through our page and buy shit. It helps us. It helps us. It don't helps. forget also, Gamefly.com. Forward slash suck for a 14 day free trial. You can get trial. the new game, Last of Us. Mm, that sounds fun. It's a fucking good game, it's about dude. Zombies. I told you about it, but it's fucking good. I want to play. Even watching, like just watching someone, it's one of those games. I love those games where, you, like, where you don't have to play to enjoy it. Yeah, it's like yeah. a, mo it's like a movie, really. That's it's fucking sick. good, and you can get it from GameFly, and I've kept it for over a week now. And you don't have Sweet to feel bad about girl. it. I don't, I don't fucking feel bad. Tweakedaudio.com. Use the code SUCK for 33% off. Sweet earbuds with microphones or without microphones. Cool there's, colors. They're sweet, bro. Get one. 
get one. We're so enthusiastic. Course, get some. Yes. Twistedtoys.net for all your anal needs. And, <laughs> and bestiality needs. Use the code TUCK for 20% off. And making love needs. If you want to strap a dildo on your cat and have sex with it, <laughs> that's the place to buy those dildos. No, why are you talking about does not <laughs> endorse cat sex? Don't you fuck a dick. <laughs> and Did you say I fuck a dick? I said you, you fucking dick. Yeah, if you want to buy dildos to shove up your urethra, get them stuck there, like fucking the jagaloon from Florida. Like, he doesn't like dildos, he likes forks. Forks, yeah. Well, if you want to buy forks, uh, that's Amazon. But if you want to buy the dildos... <laughs> you can get a, a, a whole flatware set to shove up your urethra. <laughs> yes. I think that's it. A whole dining steel. set. Is that it? That's it. All right. Well, we'll see. Stick a fork in it. (laughs) See you next Tuesday. (laughs) Stick a fork in us. We're (laughs) done.